Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing five trimless downlights. My name's Eleanor Bell, I'm a lighting designer and electrician, and this is Lightbulb Moments. In this video, I'm going to be discussing what are trimless downlights and why would you want to install them? What is the difference between a GU10 LED light bulb and an LED light engine? And what are fire rated downlights? Then I'm going to review five different trimless downlights and they are from Mr. Resistor, Astro Lighting, White Goods, Photon Star and John Cullen. And at the end, I'll tell you my personal favorite. What are trimless downlights and why would you want to install them, say, in your kitchen or living room? Well, a normal downlight, like the one here, has a bezel. So when it's installed into the ceiling, you see this bezel on the ceiling surface. Whereas a trimless downlight doesn't have a bezel. This is a trimless downlight. They look a bit strange before they're installed, but what happens is that they're put into the ceiling once the plasterboard has gone up and screwed onto it. And then the plaster comes along and plasters right up to the edge here over this perforated plate. So it's completely covered. And all you see is this very thin rim. So the result is a very clean looking surface when you look along the ceiling with nothing to distract the eye. And another advantage is that the light bulb, like the one here, is often recessed into the downlight. And this reduces glare. So when you look along the ceiling, you don't actually see the light source. Rather, it draws attention to the surfaces being lit rather than the glare of the light bulbs on the ceiling, which is, is a good thing and gives a very contemporary look, which is one of the reasons why they're so popular. What are the difference between GU10 LED light bulbs and LED light engines? Well, I have two downlights here. One has a GU10 LED light bulb and the other has an LED light engine. This is a GU10 LED light bulb. Now, this will look very familiar to most of you because they're in a lot of downlights already, um, having been halogen. But these are now changing to LED, so they have LED chips in them instead. So if you have downlights with a GU10 housing, it means you can change them to any LED uh, light bulb. Whereas with an LED light engine, this light engine is specific to this module and they usually come with a driver attached, which is a box which will fit into the ceiling beside it. Now, until recently, I've only recommended to use downlights with LED light engines on all the projects I've worked on simply because the GU10 light bulbs really haven't been of comparable quality, particularly in terms of light output, but also the colour temperature and the beam angles available. But this is rapidly changing as new products come onto the market all the time. So if you've got a standard 2.4 metre ceiling, either option is going to be suitable. But whichever type you go for, I'd recommend going for good quality and making sure they're dimmable. For the LED light engines, I'd look for ones with warranties of at least five to seven years and that have a low failure rate, because you want to know that if one of the components fails, that the company is still going to be around and they will replace that module. With the LED light bulbs, I'd go for a branded name like Philips, Osram, Sora or Mega Man. Um, and a good quality dimmable light bulb is about 10 to 25 pounds. And having them dimming just gives you more versatility because it, it means you can very quickly change the mood of your space and change what you're trying to do. What are fire rated downlights? The Electrical Safety Council recommends that all downlights, regardless of their location, are fire rated. This is because when you install a downlight, you cut a hole in the ceiling and that compromises the integrity of the ceiling because fire can easily pass through that hole. So with a fire rated downlight, it will contain some kind of incombustible material which will slow down the rate of fire spreading between the floors. So you have three options. One is to get a downlight which is already fire rated, like this one here. So it's completely enclosed in the can and it also has some intumescent material which will expand and uh, again slow the fire. 
or you can get a non-fire rated downlight and for that you can either build a fireproof box over the downlight either before the ceiling goes up or if you've got access to the floor above from there or you can put a fire hood over it which you push up into the hole and it drops down over the downlight. These cost about £10. Uh, personally as an electrician they're quite fiddly to install and my preference would always be to have a fire rated downlight. I'm now going to be reviewing five trimless downlights. They are from Mr Resistor, Astro Lighting, White Goods, Photon Star and John Cullen. And in each review it will cover build quality, whether it has a GU10 light bulb or an LED light engine, whether or not it's fire rated and what the price is. The prices will be UK retail prices in 2018. And I'm an independent lighting designer, so I'm not affiliated to any of these companies. All of these downlights are ones that I show to my clients and I specify on projects. The first downlight is from Mr Resistor. It's well built and has a white gloss finish. It's adjustable and so you could shine it against a wall. The aperture is about 75 millimetres across. Um, and it is fire rated. You can see the intumescent material here, which was, it would expand. And it has a GU10 light bulb. So it actually comes in three parts. This part you have to add and this part. So I'll just turn it on to have a look at the light output. Now the light bulb I've used is a Philips 7 watts. So I've angled that slightly so it could angle onto the wall. So you get a nice scallop onto the wall. And the price is £32, including VAT. That's a UK retail price in 2018. And you'd also need a, a light bulb, a good quality light bulb, say 10 to £25. So my second downlight is from Astro Lighting. It again, is a really good build quality. The aperture is a lot wider than the last one. It's 100 millimetres. But again, it is adjustable and it has a matte white finish, which just reduces the glare even further. It has a GU10 light bulb in it, and it is fire rated. This completely contains any spread of fire, and it has intumescent material there, which would expand. So I'll just plug it in. And you can see, this is a Mega Man uh, light bulb, 5.5 uh, watt, the last one was 7 watts, so slightly less bright, but you can still see it creates a nice scallop on the wall there. So the cost of this one is £70, plus the cost of a good quality LED light bulb, which would be £10 to £25. The third down light is from White Goods. This is a very neat fitting. It's matte white and the aperture is 60 millimetres. It's adjustable like the others. This one has a GU10 light bulb in it, but it also comes with an LED light engine. So you have the option of either. It's not fire rated, so you would need a fire hood or to build a fire box. Um, and I'll just plug this in. So it's got a very short lead. Um, this is the seven watt Philips light bulb which was 590 lumens. Now the light engine is 965 so you've got double the amount of output and the cost of these is the GU10 version is £75 plus then the cost of a good quality light bulb which would be 10 to £25 and the cost of a fire hood or a fire box and the one with the LED light engine is £185 plus the cost of a fire hood or a fire box. My fourth downlight is from Photon Star. Now this is slightly different to the others because it's not adjustable and it has, it's an LED light engine and it has a very diffuse finish to it and a very wide beam angle. It's matte white, which reduces the glare, but you can have it set back like this or you can, if I can just twist that, uh, turn it and twist it, you can then put it so that it's flush with the ceiling, which gives a very neat finish. Uh, the aperture is about 75 millimetres um, and it's not fire rated so you would need either a fire hood or a fireproof box. So I'll just plug this in. 
Now this is 650 lumens and you can see that it's very gives a very general spread across the surface but because it's an LED light engine you have the option of going up to 950 lumens or 1200 lumens which is great if you have a very high ceiling and you want a very general diffuse spread of light. So the cost of this one is £125 plus whatever you need for the fire rating. My fifth and final downlight is from John Cullen. Now straight away you can see that this looks very different to the others because it's black and it's also square. It does come in white but with both of them the plaster would be skimmed right up to this lip here and so you would see this aperture. Now the black is a very particular, it's a particular design look particularly if you want black switches and it also reduces the glare further. This is an LED light engine. It has a very, it's set very deep in which really reduces the glare and it also is adjustable but when you adjust it the whole tube moves so there's no cut off of the light output. So let me just turn this on. Oh it is, it isn't fire rated and with this particular one you can't put a fire hood over it and you would need to build a fireproof box around it. So I'll just plug it in. So I want to show you now this one is a very focused beam and so it's really great for lighting artwork this uh, particular one is 560 lumens but you can get them with the higher light output well, that's just popped out but that wouldn't happen once it's in the ceiling because once it's up it's up it's because I'm fiddling around from the back so this one comes in at 215 pounds and plus the cost of the fireproofing So I've reviewed the five trimless downlights. All of these are well built, uh, but they have different pros and cons. So they're suitable for different situations. But my personal favorite is the one from Astro Lighting for several reasons. One is that it's got integral fire rating. Secondly, it has a GU10 light bulb, so you can easily upgrade it if you wanted to say change color temperature or beam angle, or as the LED light bulbs get better, and also it's a reasonable price. So I hope that you found this helpful. Please do comment below if you've got any questions or if you're using trimless downlights, tell me about your experiences and if you've got anything to contribute that can help other people. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of other videos um, and that's it. See you next time. My name's Eleanor Bell and this is Lightbulb Moments.